Hi everyone, Carol here with another fantastic video for you today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by tapping the subscribe button below. So tonight what I've got, this is a 14 inch Dollar Tree frame guys. And tonight it only has 14 ties on it. Just 14. I've got six on the inside at every crossbar. And then I put um, one at each crossbar on the outside and put three in equal spaces going around it. So, and um, this is one way that you can save money on a mesh, on ribbons, um, different things like that if you're going to do one. This is what I'm calling my ribbon wreath. It has mesh and ribbon. There's no sign. And um, because a lot of people that I deal with during patriotic seasons don't want to sign on their wreath. They want to leave it up for multiple holidays. And if it says 4th of July or anything like that, um, this way they can leave it up at all of it. This is navy blue, guys. This is navy blue natural, ju uh, this is jute mesh, navy blue. I never found it before up until this year, okay? And it's 21 inches, and I got this off of Sims Pottery, where I buy a lot of my stuff wholesale, okay? I'm going to put it down in front of this tie, and since this is thicker, I am going to um, tie it down right in front of that tie with a zip tie. Hi, Debbie. Hey, KP. You're here? <laughs> I'm so glad. So, I'm going to pull that nice and snug. I'm going to clip it off. And then I'm just going to trim this to pretty it up. All right. So, I'm going to see what a 10-inch poof is going to look like. And 10 inches is going to be perfectly fine. So this is what we're going to do because this mesh is so thick. So we're doing a 10 inch poof. Hi, Trolene. Pull it tight and twist it. And we're just going to poof it out. And I started on the inside. Just 10 inches. And like I said, this stuff is really thick, but I love it. And it's got really good coverage. So this is going to be more of a rustic. And you'll be able to tell when I show you the ribbons. Also. I got the mesh from Sims Pottery. Sims Pottery is a wholesale, and you have to have a um, tax ID um, for businesses to purchase from them. And like I said, this is, that was the first time I had ever seen the navy blue in it. Which, I, you know, when I saw it, I bought a case of it. Um, cause that's just what I do, especially during, uh, it's, it's a true Navy. It's a true Navy. So when I find something that I like and, and poly um, jute is one of one of my favorite meshes that I like to use. Um, and I do a lot of patriotic. So I just thought, might as well. Because when I'm doing this type of a method with only um, 14 ties on it, I can get um, you in 10 inch poofs. I can get two wreaths out of this.
because normally I would have 18 ties. Okay. Got right back where we started. I'm going to poof this one out. And the only thing I don't like about poly jute is that it makes my nose itch, guys. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this poof up and so I can sort of work this down. And I'm going to bring it right over here in front of this one. Okay. I'm going to take another zip tie that has already been used. <laughs> and I'm going to tie it down. Now, if I was using the um, 10 inch, I probably, I would just use the ties on it. I wouldn't use a uh, zip tie. Hi, Brenda. So now I'm just going to go around, open these up, make it a little easier on ourselves. Okay. Come on out here, keeping my ends curled under, guys. Doing 10 inch poofs. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to pull it, poof it out, and I'm just pulling this to the inside, guys, to give me more coverage, because this is super, like I said, and it's really stiff, too. I was really surprised at the quality of this. Because sometimes you can buy those poly um, jute, and it's a lot thinner than in other places. Like, I've used Hobby Lobby's poly jute. And girlfriends, that's, that's a no-no. I understand that it's, you know, if it's 50% off, it's 50% off. But you, to me, I have to use twice as much. It's a real soft mess, mesh. Yeah, I'll mess too. <laughs> now, this isn't going to make a huge, huge wreath. It'll make probably about a 24, 23 to 24 inches. We might get a little more out of it. Yeah, Craft Outlet. You know, and I haven't looked to see if Craft Outlet has the, the navy. There we go. Yeah, that's my go-to place too, Craft Outlet. Oh, it did get ribbon in. Awesome, Shirley. You got yours? Oh, I'm so glad you did. I was so worried they weren't going to put any out, any more out. Isn't that what they told you? Mm 
Now I know where to go when I run out of ribbon, Shirley. even though I'm sure I'll have plenty. <laughs> They're sold out everywhere, KP. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, surely I don't think they were, They she had been looking and looking at her Sam's, and they never did get any till now. The mesh was horrible. Oh. Yeah. You just, their mesh is so thin. Gather that back up. Okay, last poof, guys. This is gorgeous mesh. Okay. So I'm going to pull it out here. Cut it off, roll it up till next time. Awesome! Hi, Janie! Oh, goodness. I hear those are not pleasant. I know I wouldn't want to get one. I'm just stuffing this back in so I can pull it to the inside. And then I'm going to tie this one down too with a zip tie. Love it all, KP? Okay. I'm going to move this zip tie around because I don't want it to scratch anyone's door. Here we go. Yeah, ouch is right, right guys? Okay, brush my table off. Okay, so right now with the poofs, 22. With the poofs, it's 22. Okay. Now I have some. This is, they call it, some places call it red, some places call it burgundy. Okay. And this is poly jute. And I only cut this to 15 inches because I want the red to show through. So it's just two quick curls. And basically, you just slide them together. This is going to be like having double curls, guys. And I'm just going to go in at an angle because I want this blue to come through also for the red, white, and blue. Hey, Karen. Hi. Thank you. And then I'm going to alternate it with this uh, the tan or the natural jute. 
because this is more of an Americana, right? Curl sides up. Just going to put these in. So all you need is, if you think about this, is seven pieces of each one of these. Cut it 15 inches. So you don't need a lot to do this messy curl. This is more like a, when you get them rolled together, it's more like using a double curl. Because I really wanted this blue to stand out. I got it from Sims Pottery. Um, the 21 inch navy I got from Sims Pottery wholesale. Awesome, Susan. That's what Shirley was saying that she got they got theirs in. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, Reese and D stash. You know, a lot of people are doing that, and I've noticed a lot of people haven't even commented or offered to um, buy any. So, maybe they will later on. But this old girl, whether she needed it or not, I wouldn't do that. Just not my thing. You're welcome. Oh, cool. Well, I'm so glad that she has you, Janie. And I'll keep y'all in my prayers. Yeah, 16, yeah. Yeah, I buy, I'm, I'm one of the solid color buyers when it comes to the Sam's Easter ribbons because it's just a really good staple to have. You're so welcome. Lost my tie. Boy, it's in the 90s here today, guys, and I don't have my, we have the air conditioner on in the house, but I didn't want to turn it on out here because it gets noisy. Hi, Norma. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what we've got so far. So now we're just going to boogie on to the top, guys. And I'm just rolling these in with it just being cut to 15 inches. Just rolling it in and it's only got about an inch or two to where I have to uh, push it together. Oh my gosh, no way. I told y'all I could do the hot, can't do the cold. And <laughs> I'm learning I don't do the hot as well as I used to. <laughs> 91 yesterday? <laughs> yeah, well I went in yesterday and because I, I was out here doing things and uh, or was it the day before? I think it was the day before. 
And I'm like, my God, how come it's so cool in this house? Then it dawned on me. So I looked at my husband and I said, did you turn the air conditioner on? He goes, I sure did. <laughs> yeah, cold hurts my bones. Sure does. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Okay, we're just about got this little puppy done. You could also, if you wanted to, to put the curl side down. That's just preference. I thought tonight we'd give it a little bit more texture. It's raining in California. Send us some of that rain, KP. I have an awesome um, um, patriotic sign that would go pretty with this color combination, too. There's only 14 ties on this. 14 ties on this frame tonight. Yeah, I don't like driving in it. Okay. So that's all of them right there. But see how you can still see some of the blue through it? That's what I wanted it to look like. Okay. The ribbons I chose since I was going with more of an older, antique, Americana, whatever you want to call it. And I want you to look at this ribbon. It looks like it's worn out. It looks like it's worn out and faded, you know, like the old glory, you know. And I really loved it. And I've got a sign that sort of faded like this, too. And this is, <clears throat> this is a color that's hard to find. Some people call it burgundy. Some other people call it deep red. And some people call it blood red. I buy this every year, if you'll think about it, at Dollar General Store. All this is, this is a um, burlap ribbon, two and a half inches. They have it for 10 yards every year for the last three or four years that I know of for $5 a row. Chrism, yes, it's called Chrism too. So, every year at Christmas, I buy several rows of it because it is one that's a little harder to find. So, they're both two and a half inches, and I cut them to 14 inches, guys. 14 inches. And I'm only using the two ribbons. I'm tying it in, I'm going to take that, put it behind my ribbon, and I'm going to spread them out. And then just sort of give them a little curl. So when I do a wreath like this, I increase, I, you know, I'm a 12 or 13 inch ribbon person, but I'm doing these in a 14 inch. That's why I have a habit of calling these 
a ribbon wreath. Trim that one off. And I try to lay these to where, because I try to lay these to where the stars, if you were looking at a flag, were on the, um, your left hand side, if you're looking at it. It really wouldn't matter. That's just my preference. Yes, you will, Shirley. There it is. I cut them longer because I wanted them. I've only got 14 ties on this frame. So I could have put more ties on the frame and used bigger poofs or whatever. Or I can use longer ribbons. But even it, because I wanted the ribbons to stand out. Here, let me show you. See how well these ribbons are going to make a statement? I wanted those ribbons and to still be able to see different elements of it. I wanted them to stand out. That's why I call it a ribbon wreath. Hi, Mary. Gotcha. <laughs> now, of course, you know, if I was using a sign on this, and maybe even if I just even still used um, the same ribbons, I probably would have cut them shorter. I would have probably cut them at least an inch shorter. Yeah, I'll put a bow on it, but I'll show you the type of bow I'm going to put on it. I do have company. <laughs> the little stinker. He, he has to be wherever Mama is. I was going to say, I was fixing to say, how did the heck did he get down in here, but... I remember a while ago when Mike came through. Oh, he's a stinker, Patricia. He he thinks I don't know. He thinks I don't know he stays up all night and then sleeps all day. But I know because I can hear him. You know, he's just, he's got a doggy door, so he likes to, he likes to lay on the back porch, and if he hears something, he has to go and bark and take care of business, right, watchdog, <laughs> but he thinks he doesn't know, so if I get up during the night, I'll holler at him, and here he comes in the house, and then um, he goes straight to the bedroom and lays down. And like, I wasn't outside. You know I wasn't outside, Mom. 
I've been in here the whole time, right? Well, he's telling stories. <laughs> and I know as soon as I get back in bed that he's right back outside. <laughs> Yeah, he probably knows I'm talking at him, too. He's over there on his little rug looking out the door. He lays there until something, he thinks he sees a deer or something. Then he wants to go after it. <laughs> He's a stinker. He is cute. And he knows it. Plum rotten. You can even do like I did the other night with this type of a wreath. As you're putting your little curls or whatever in, you just go ahead and put your ribbons in. And then make one pass. But I do love this uh, faded, washed out looking um, that resembles a flag ribbon. I think um, this is one of my favorites. Last ribbons on the bottom. His name is Ben. Short for Benny. Benny, you know, he was my dad's puppy. And when my dad passed away, I took uh, Ben in, which wasn't no taken. He chose me. And um, my dad's brother was named, thanks, Sandra. My dad's brother's name was Benny. <laughs> and so... So I've got my dad and my uncle with me. We go all the way around that little sucker. Now let's do the top. Thank you guys for spreading the love. Doesn't matter which one we start in up here. So are y'all still making Easter or y'all moved on to full blown on spring? Seems like I'm doing a little bit of everything. Which I did just make a lot tomorrow. I gotta go. I was in town today, but tomorrow I have to go back tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to go back to town tomorrow. <laughs> Let me get that right for a change. Um Easter, yeah. Well, I think I'm through with Easter, unless I just, and I'm going to put my stuff up, focus on spring, Mother's Day, Father's Day, I think if I can get the ribbon in, in on time that I want to use on one of my Mother's Day wreaths, or I'm going to have to look in my stuff will make that making tulips oh yeah love them tulips you make bee wreaths huh i've got some more that i gotta make two more of those
Oh, that's okay. There's always things like that that happen all the time. <clears throat> that's like I always thought I was through with Valentine's and St. Patty's Day and had everything boxed up to go out to the my other area. And um, I got orders, so <laughs> never turn down an order, guys. Never t turn down an order. Go. See how tall this is getting? With the little um, double curl. Hi, Miss Ashley. If y'all might wouldn't mind sharing some love out there for me, I'd appreciate it. Shoot fire. Share it to your page. We got to get some more viewers up in our business here. Well, thank you, sweets. Gotta love my KP. Yeah, I love bee wreaths, too. Love them, love them. Okay. Oh, thanks, Janie. Never late, never late, Debbie. We go. Last set of ribbons, guys, going in. Hi, LB. Never late, LB. We're getting our red, white, and blue on tonight, guys. Okay, we're looking at about 24 inches. Here's all of the ribbons around it. Oh yeah, I bet. So you can still, up close, you can still see the blue, the little tan, and the red peeking through and that was what we wanted okay so now <clears throat> I've got jute just about everywhere let's take some uh, this is a one and a half inch 
This is the the tan, the navy, and the crimson or dark red, whatever you want to call it. And I love this ribbon too. And I'm going to do probably about um, let's try a 12 inch tail. I'm just going to twist it. I'm bringing the um, tail towards me. Oh, slow down there. Bronco. There we go. Whoa, 3D, guys. Got a lot of ribbon out. I'm going to come over here to about the five and a half. Well, we can do it a six. Let's do it a six. Okay. Pull it down. Make sure you twist it good. So it's really nice canvas ribbon. Twist it good, a six. Hi, Tanisha. You're quite fine, doll. going to pull this down. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to come right back with it. I'm going to come up about an uh, inch, inch and a half. going to bring this into a five. And this one into a five. And bring this one down and cut it off. I'm going to bend this in half. Just pick it up, push it up. So all I've done is made like a two one bow, two loops on each side, then one loop on each side. Then we're going to pull these down. Let me move this right quick because we're going to be using it again. And this first one. Let me find my little, my needle. Y'all know I can't do anything without my needle. Bend them over. Okay, I'm just going to bring this one right up here to the top. Push it through. And I'm actually going to pull this in some. More so than what I would at most other bows. Because I really want that loop to pop the loops to pop. So 
So I'm just going to take them, sort of shake them, these here, and these on the inside. Different lengths. Okay, that's with one bow. And I'm a liking that. Let's do another one. Let's play in my ribbon. There we go. Thanks, LB. You're so sweet. Basically the same way. Bring it towards me. Do a six inch again. Just measuring one loop off the other one. Thanks. We're going to cut it off. Pull it easy. <laughs> Five inch. Okay. Don't think I need but one because I'm pulling them so deep. Ah, you need to come throw my clothes in the dryer. I've got a load going too. Remember to pull real hard. It helps us stand up. Get my needle. Well, I don't know what I would do. Now I'm going to come down here and stagger it across towards the bottom. Like I said, I'm pulling it in pretty deep. <laughs> I hear you, girl. Okay. Same thing. Just manipulate, manipulating. This ribbon is nice and stiff.
then you would just come back over it and this is what I call my ribbon wreath like that It still screams patriotic, but you don't have a sign that defines it. 